We want to know what did you learn in church today? What did you learn in church today? What I heard was three fishes and three sardines. Show me where that is written in the Bible that Jesus gave five fishes and three sardines to the people. Bring it out. What are you learning? You learned about giving a tenth. Where is that in the scriptures that you have to give a tenth? Right. That's not in the Bible. That's right. That's right. You're, it's not in the Bible that you're supposed to give a tenth of your money. Bring right. it out. The problem that we have today is now you have the real pastors that's going to feed the flock of God. Right. That's right. What you have learned today is nothing. Right. Who are you in the Bible? Bring what did Pastor, what Pastor Matthews teach you about the scripture? Bring it out. What did he teach you? Bring it out. Did he teach you that you were still an African American? Right. Did he teach you that? Wake Do you still up. subscribe to this Jesus? Wake him up. Did y'all pray to this Jesus? Bring it out. The problem is, give me that in uh, Jeremiah. Bring it out. No, give me Isaiah 20. Yes, sir. And then give me Jeremiah 3 and 15. Because I'm asking y'all, what did you learn? Yes, young men, black young men came out on Sunday to ask you, with the Bible, what did you learn today? Right. We know that you gave a tenth, but what did you learn? Right. How you doing? Tell us what you learned in the scriptures. Right. Read. Yep. Isaiah chapter 20. 30 verse 20. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20. Bring it out. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. Because as the brother stated, we're in adversity. Right. Look around you. Look at the community around you. Right. Come on. And the water of affliction, we're afflicted. That's right. Dylan Roof could come out here and they'll accept Dylan Roof in the church. Right. right. But these young black men out here, you won't even have a dialogue with to reason with the Bible. Right. right. Come on. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Go right. ahead. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. If the Bible says your eyes are going to see your teachers. Read. And thine ears shall hear, hear a word behind thee. How are you going to hear it? Because y'all are going to be walking to your car while the Bible is coming out. Right. That's how you're going to hear it. But you're not going to stop to listen. You're not going to ask a question. You're not going to even ask, what is he saying? What did my pastor teach me today? What, what am I going home to study in the Bible? How is that going to make me a better person what I learned today? Right. How is that applicable to my life? Read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. It says, This is the way. That's, That's right. John. Give me that in John. You know what I want? John 14. This is the way. That's right. So y'all should be asking us, Well, what is the way? Right. right. Pastor Matthews gave us the way. You're trying to tell us a different way. So what is the way? Read. They're going to go across the street. 14 to 6. John chapter 14. Verse 6, Bring it out. Jesus said unto him, I am the way. So, we all believe that Jesus is the way, right? That's right. We? we all believe Jesus is the way. Come on. The truth and the life. We believe he's the truth and the life. But you have no substance in what it means to love Jesus. Give me that in now, 14 and 15. John chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it out. So if ye love me. So Jesus, that is the way, said, if you what? If ye love me. Jesus said, if you love me. Yeah. You love Jesus, right, sis? You love Jesus, don't you? Amen, right? Amen. Read. Keep my commandments. So that's an amen to that. He said, if yes, you love me. He said, amen. Keep my commandments. That's right. So, where's that part coming to play? Because we easily say that we love Jesus. Right. Now he said, read it again. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So, brother, brother, brother putting on the shades, looking cool. What did you learn today? Don't ask me to have, don't tell me to have a blessed day. Reason with me. What did you learn today? What did you learn today? Wake up. Wake up. That's a simple question. What did you learn? You know why you can't answer that? Because you learned nothing. That's right. You sat there and got good words and good music and gave a tenth of your money and you learned nothing. Give me Malachi. Give me Micah 3. Micah 3. That's right. Read. 
The book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 11. Bring it up. The heads thereof judge for reward. They what? Judge for reward. I see you, sis. You got the camera on us. And I'm asking you, what are we saying that's wrong? Did I say you didn't. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. So, can I ask you a question? Did you give a tenth today? Did you give a tenth? Did he preach about a tenth? No, he did. A tenth of what you give us, at least a tenth, leaves this church to go and bless somebody else. Why do I say at least a tenth? Because the feeding ministry is not part of that ten. When you add that cost, we're doing more than ten percent to bless somebody else. I want you to give God a praise for a church called St. Luke. But we can't do that without you. That's a lie. We were listening. We were listening. He said, he said, give a tenth of something because the feeding ministry, we were listening and you just said a lie. Read. The heads thereof judge for reward. And the priests thereof. The who? The priests thereof. So the priests and the pastors because we can tell that she's not learning anything. Right. Why? Because Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. But the pastor didn't tell her she's supposed to be wearing a dress. Oh, bring it, bring it out. The pastor didn't tell her she's not supposed to have blonde hair. Bring it out. The pastor didn't tell her these things. Bring it out. Read. You a grown woman, and you can die a grown woman. He's still supposed to teach you the laws. That's right. That's right. And the priest thereof. Teach for higher. That's what you're listening to. Your priests teach for higher. Your priests teach for higher. And you're okay with being robbed. That's the problem. Our people would love, they love being robbed from their pastors. You get mad at a young black man teaching you the truth about the Bible. Read. Right. And the prophets thereof divine for money. He divine for money. She sat here and said a lie. We listened to the broadcast and he literally said, Give a tenth. Give right. a tenth of something. Give a tenth. The feeding ministry. That's right. The, the feeding ministry. Whoa. It deals with the community. And she literally just lied and said that he did not say that. Right. That's, a, that's how you know they're in there. They're not even paying attention right. to the lies. Right. They're just following. Right. right. Yeah. Wake them up. Give me that. Um, uh, Malachi 2 and 7. Bring it out. That's for, right. For the sister with the blonde hair and the, and the sweet pants. Right. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So if I walk into a church, my expectation is to gain knowledge from the Bible. That's right. That's what I'm supposed to get when I go into a church. I'm supposed to get knowledge. Come on. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So I'm supposed to be getting the law when I go to church. He should be telling me what laws that I need to keep. Right. Yes, right, because they said they love Christ. Right, right. We love Jesus. Bring Jesus is the way. Amen, amen. But then, when we talk about, well, sis, you're not supposed to have pants on. Just bring it up. That's that's a law. That's a law, sis. That's right. a law. We're giving you love. We're giving you love now. That is a law in the Bible. A woman, get that law. That's right. Bring it up. Get that law. Deuteronomy. Chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it you know, up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what pertains to men that women wear? I, I can't hear you. What pertains to what pertains to men that women wear? Pants. That's right. It's that's that right. And y'all might say, well, that's in the book of Deuteronomy. That's in the Old Testament. So it's tithing. Right. That's right. So it's tithing. I can go to Deuteronomy chapter 14 and it talks about tithing. That's right. This is what? How many chapters up? Eight? Eight chapters up and, it's, and it's, there's still a law that says read it. That's right. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says a woman, a godly woman, right. will observe this law. She will not do what? Wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So. We know that some of these things are not being taught in the church. That's why we came out here to make sure that you're learning what you're supposed to learn according to the Bible. That's right. Right? Come on. 
neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So it also says that my brother right here sitting next to me should not have a dress on. He should not have pumps and high heels on. He has a dress code as a man. He is to wear pants. Right? Is that it? Go ahead. For all that do so, for, what? for all that do so, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So why would I want you to walk away looking at a Bible, holding a Bible in your hand, and still be an abomination to God? That's not what I'm supposed to do. Right. What I'm supposed to do is show you that that is not according to scriptures. Right. Right. right? Give me that. Give me John 14 again. Because we, we say Christ is the way. But what did Christ say? 14 and 15. John chapter 14 verse 15. If he loved me. Christ said if you love me. Go ahead. Keep my commandments. What will we do? Keep my commandments. So in the Old Testament it was a commandment to tithe, right? So why do they still uphold that commandment which is done away with? But you... They don't tell you that, sis, you're supposed to wear modest apparel. Right. You're supposed to wear modest apparel. Yes, sir. Come on, Pastor. Teach us something. If I lie time, if I walk, meditate there upon my mind, dear there. Pants press both of his shine Shine up on terrible in a war time Dream team Well, well, if I war then it is roll deep Round 12 noon, pull up then lock down street Hit spot, jump out at the four door Jeep and we match black pants and boots Pump feet, let me reach for the back Pull out the heat, man I spray with the weapon And I listen to my teeth in a war time We no two trace like girl, we no take tough chat We reach for teeth, I'm a part too cool Man I no bombers, cops and more up on the damn concrete why me no skin teeth, if you know some me grim And me come and set me rape, blood reach to the regal Be a skull a leak, and the weapon just a ring up Come and set the pump repeat, man a victory dance Cause the boy them get defeat, last man standing So the mission complete, you see It's a war time, it's a war Meditate there up on my mind, dear girl Pants press both of his shine Shine up, man terrible, in a war time Dream team, in a war time, it's a war Meditate there up on my mind, dear girl Pants press smooth off his shine Shine up on terrible in our white time Dream team We be sick of you warriors, wow, be the truth You know so say them a name come to Only wisdom when them have is just a wisdom to You forget the W, you just is dumb Yes sir How you doing sir? We want to reason in the scriptures We want to reason in the scriptures So I was listening to your sermon And you talked about Jesus, right? What I didn't hear, I didn't, I didn't uh, actually hear you read the scripture. You missed it. No, I didn't. Well, I listened to it. I listened to it. I listened to it. I heard about the sardines. Jesus tells the story about him taking a lad, had, a boy had two fish and five small sardines. John, you didn't hear John. John. I heard about John chapter two. I heard about John chapter. I was listening, okay. but what I didn't hear was I didn't hear you teach about the laws. Like for example, okay. what day are we supposed to congregate? Sunday. Uh, oh really? I, I, I'll pass it to you. Yeah. I'm passing it back. Okay. So what day are we supposed to congregate? So, Sabbath is Saturday. Okay. Real quick. Sabbath is Saturday. Not Sunday. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. So the church. One question. That's one question. The church doesn't worship on Sabbath. Why not? We worship the eighth day. Okay, okay, okay. Stop right there. 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 That's good. That's good. So, the pastor said you worship on the eighth day, which is their tradition. Correct? Give me Colossians 2. Bring it out. So, that's a, tra that, that, that's a tradition, correct? Is that scriptural? Yes. Okay, hold on. Before you read that, give me Exodus. Because I want y'all to understand that when did it change that they worship on the Sabbath? I can tell you. No, I'm, I'm going to give you two scriptures and then I'm, I'm, okay. I'm going to let you dialogue with uh, uh, me. So, right? Hey, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two scriptures. I got it. I'll let you speak. So I, wanna, I, want, I want the Bible. Bible. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. What it all? Remember the Sabbath day and to keep, keep it holy. holy. Right? Yeah. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. yeah. But the seventh day. The eighth day. The, the seventh, seventh day, day. 
seventh day, day yeah. uh -huh. is yeah. the Sabbath of the Lord so thy God. So it's the seventh day, not the eighth. The yeah. seventh day is the day of rest. Okay. That's the day we are commanded to worship, right? Right. Yeah. So when you say that this is your tradition, in Colossians, this, this is what's happening, right? In Colossians, they get more free. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Come on, get on. Beware lest any man and vain deceit. Go ahead. After the tradition of men. After Christ said, do be spoiled by the traditions of men. That is a tradition. The rudiment of the world means if you're worshiping can God on the wrong day, right, somebody, are you actually keeping the commandment of the Sabbath? Can somebody get me a match? I would love to dialogue. But I Pastor, wanna, I wanna Pastor, I know. I, I, so a can I read that same yes, verse? Yes, yes, Wait, yes. Wait, okay, yes. okay. Can I pastor, take, pastor, pastor, can pastor. I take Colossians pastor, yes. chapter 2 uh -huh. and give you why we worship on Sunday? After it just said you're if, supposed to worship listen, on the Sabbath? It's no. in the book. It just said it's a, it's so a tradition. Let, so then let me use his book and show you. This is not his book. This is God's but book. But let me use God's book and show you. Okay, tell us what scripture you want to say. Let read. me show you. I'm going to read it for you. I'm, no, I it's want him to read it. No, what you want me, him to read? No, let me read it for He's you. He's a reader. What do you okay. want him to read? That same section. Keep on reading on. <coughs> Where? Where it said, let no one judge you. In meat and drink offering. Uh, like, and, okay, let no one ahead, judge you. Read on. Yeah, read, so read, here's that the part, point. read that part. Here's the point. Read that part. I would love Colossians chapter 2, verse 16. This bring, is it out. bring it out. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or drink. This is what he wants read you to read. Or in respect of a holy day. In the respect of a holy day, right? Read on. Read, read on. Read on. Read on. Or a respect of a holy day, or the new moon, or the Sabbath day. Or the Sabbath day. Yes, yes. Now, the question is, why did Paul say that? Bring it up. Bring it up. Why did Paul say that? You see, oh yeah, we don't got to keep the Sabbath, right? We don't got to keep the Sabbath. Give me Ezekiel 45. Bring it up. Y'all let, let this brother give y'all smooth words and hard feelings. Because he's walking away with hard feelings. Give me that. Ezekiel chapter 45, verse 17. I want you to see your pastor is a liar. Read. I just wrote it. It shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings in the feast and in the new moons and in the Sabbaths and in all solemnities of the house of Israel. So why would. They say that in Ezekiel because they were sacrificing on the Sabbath day. Right. It was a sacrificial law. Right. You don't keep the sacrificial law. So right. he's using that scripture to say he can worship on the eighth day. Right. That is a lie. Right. That is a lie. Did Christ keep the Sabbath? Did Christ keep the Sabbath day? Did he? Give me one of the scriptures where Christ kept the Sabbath. This is, this is simple. I'm just right. This, this is simple. This is love. Yes, this is love right here. They wanted to come and hear Pastor talk. Pastor pulled one scripture, got cut and left. Come on. The book of Luke, chapter 4 and verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So why would Christ go into the synagogue on the Sabbath day if he could go on the eighth day? That's right. That's right. Why we? There's not even eight days on the calendar. Right. It's only seven days on the calendar. That's right. It's seven days in the week. Right. So it's seven days. He said Saturday is the Sabbath, but we keep it on the eighth day. There's no eighth day. It starts right. back over from one. Right. Your pastor is a liar. Yes, right. You're a liar. Yes, right. What did Jesus do on the Sabbath day? Read. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue. On Christ went into the church. This is when Christ went into the church. Read. On the Sabbath day. No. He went on the eighth day. When did he go? On the Sabbath day. No. Yes, Christ right. went on the eighth day into the church. Right. On the Sabbath day. That's so, right. you see, all of them was... Fool. They were fools. He brought one scripture. Out of the three scriptures that I read, he brought one scripture and used that scripture. I want pastor to hear when you're supposed to keep the Sabbath. Read. And he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Christ went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. That's right. That's right. Matthews. 
Give me that Jeremiah 23. This is what this is what happened. All them sheep, all them sheep that's coming out. All them sheep read. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors. To who? To the pastors Go ahead. that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. That's what he's doing. All of them sat there and listened. They heard me bring out the scriptures on the Sabbath day. They heard him say that it's their tradition. They heard Christ say not to do what? They ain't traditions of men. They heard that, and what is he doing? Read. And scatter the sheep of my pastures. So he's scattering the children of Israel. Why? Because he divides for money. He teaches for money. That's why he was talking about a tenth, but it's not in the Bible for them to give a tenth today. Read. Sayeth the Lord. Read. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. So this is his this is his warning he got. I thought about that's right. right in this. That's right. We came out here to warn him. Right. Read, read that part again. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. He said, this is a warning to the pastors that are supposed to be feeding his people. This is a warning, Pastor Matthew. This is your warning God gave you. Read. Ye have scattered my flock. He's scattering God's flock. Read. And driven them away. And what? Driven them away. He's driving them away from God. You ain't learning about God in that church. Read. Read. And have not visited them. And what? Have not visited them. He ain't bringing the Bible out. What? He don't know about the Bible. What? He teaching about coming to, to the church on the eighth day. It ain't even in the damn scriptures. That's, That's right. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing. He will what? I will visit upon you the evil of your doing. He don't even understand we mocking you today. That's right. Give me Ezekiel right. 3. Bring it out. You get That's marked right. right now. Right. You crazy. Coming over here talking about... Tradition. What? You don't even know your head is bald. What? what? the hell is wrong with you? Read. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Oh! Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Half of the damn people that came over here got bald heads. What? Right. You don't know about that law? Right. Come on, look at the sisters with the damn pants on. They right. ain't teaching them nothing. Read. Read. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. And give them warning from me. That's his job. He's supposed to warn the sheep of God. That's right. He went over there and told them, don't y'all listen to them brothers over there in purple. Don't y'all listen to them Negroes over there in purple because they're actually reading out of the Bible. Right. But he said, Jesus had five fishes and three sardines. You don't see no damn sardines in the Bible. Right. When did it tell you he had sardines? Read. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die. He said what? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Sis, you know wearing pants is wicked? Bring it out. Bring it out. Did you know uh, balling your head is wicked? Bring it out. According Bring it to God, out. did you know that? Bring it out. Bring it out. You don't know that, right? But he sat over there and talked to you for five minutes and didn't tell you you're supposed to take them damn pants off. That's right. But he told you about a tenth. Three. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. This is the damn problem with our community. Right. We sitting over here reading the Bible about what God's going to kill you for. Ain't your daddy ain't paying attention. They're talking about getting their nails done and, and drinking a mimosa. When they're going to go to corral. Read. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. So, guess what he's not doing? He's not warning them. He ain't warning. That's what I'm telling you, sis. We warning you. Right. He's saying you just you walked just, upon you it, walked it, upon it, the all oh, praise you walked upon the prophets of God you walked upon the prophets of God that's why we came out here today for one 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 repentant soul right that's why we out here read nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way sis if a car was coming if a bus was coming would you not want us to pull you out the street right would you not want us to pull you out the street they want they want to get hit by the bus. They right. want to get hit by, by cats, right? right? We're sitting over here pulling you out the damn fire and you want to stay there. Read. Right. Yes. No, speak is to warn the wicked from his wicked way. And, they, and he don't do what? Speak is to warn the wicked from his wicked way. It's our job to warn you. That's right. We're warning you. That's right. Destruction is coming on this earth. Right. Bring it out. Y'all don't see the famine? Y'all don't see all these things happening? Right. That's right. He walking up into a grocery store shoot 10 of y'all. That's right. right. Why ain't teach you about that in the scriptures? What? Bring it on. Why ain't tell you about the destruction that's coming to y'all? What? Teach him up. To save his life. To what? 
to save his life. Our job is to save your life. Right. We're here to save you. Right. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's you right. children of Israel. That's right. Free. The same wicked man shall die. That's his judgment. He's holding this Bible in his hand. He's claiming to be a pastor. He's claiming to feed God's sheep. His judgment is death. Because he ain't warning y'all about the judgment that's coming on this earth. Come on. The same wicked man shall die. He what? Shall die in his iniquity. Go ahead. But his blood will I require at thine hand. So every single person that's in that church, that walks out of that church and has not repented, he has to stand before God about their blood. Right. That's what he got to do. Our hands are clean. He got to answer for that thing. That's right. Read. Yes. If thou warn the wicked. If we what? If thou warn the wicked. That's what we doing right now. We letting y'all know, sis, you might have not known that wearing pants was against God. I, I, I do. My grandma taught me that. Look. I'm outside going to the grocery store and. and don't, you supposed to be modest and I should have on a skirt. You supposed to have on a dress. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth